Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're going to do a detailed FAQ of the new IQ C3. So we have the IQ Z3 with us. This is the first device with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 768G octa-core processor in India, and uh, this device does come with pretty good hardware. You get a 120Hz uh, uh, IPS LCD panel, 55W uh, fast charging, Android 11 and a quad uh, or other triple camera setup 64 megapixel camera so it's a quite good hardware now in this video we will be specifically concentrating on the faq uh, the frequently asked questions um, on this device we are, so we have been getting a lot of questions so we'll uh, try to analyze all the aspects and uh, cover all the questions we have got uh, on this iq z3 so we'll follow the regular FAQ model, uh, we'll have uh, 20 plus uh, questions and uh, uh, the answers on uh, these questions uh, about the IQ Z3. So let's get started. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So first let's have a look at the design and build quality. Now if you look at the design aspect, so this is uh, nothing outstanding in terms of design but it does it definitely is a fair uh, good looking device out there. Now in terms of build quality, uh, this is a polycarbonate material, many were asking whether it's a glass build, so it's not a glass build, it's a polycarbonate material. Although it's a polycarbonate material, it does feel quite okay, you can see that uh, in our two weeks of usage there is no scratches uh, on this uh, back panel which means that the panel, uh, I mean the back panel looks quite good in terms of build quality, fit and finish. You can see that uh, the, uh, the fingerprint scanner power button and the volume rocker keys have been placed uh, in a recess area so that's again pretty good. Now the front panel design is in something which is outstanding because uh, primarily because of the water drop notch which is kind of not the best technology available out there. Punch hole should have been provided. The bezels are quite okay not uh, something outstanding again but a fairly good looking device in terms of overall design and build quality is also quite okay. We would have preferred a glass build at this price segment. But nevertheless, this feels quite okay. Now next, let's move on to the display. So you get uh, a 120 hertz refresh rate. Now this is uh, an IPS LCD panel. It's not an AMOLED panel. Now if you go to the display settings, you can see here refresh rate options are available: 120 hertz, 90 hertz, 60 hertz, and the smart switch option. So smart switch basically switches between the refresh rate based on the app and uh, the power consumption. So that's uh, quite uh, good. Uh, you get a slightly better battery life than going with uh, the standard 120 hertz. Uh, that's the smoothest out there. So that's the display aspect. Now display quality as such looks quite okay. Although at this uh, 22 to 23k price segment, we would have definitely liked an AMOLED panel. Uh, now this IPS LCD panel isn't bad, but again not the best out there because uh, uh, we have a lot of devices with AMOLED panels in this price segment. So that's something which is lacking on uh, the IQ Z3. Now there is also Panda Glass protection available, so that's what uh, Aiku has said, uh, there is a Panda Glass protection on this display. Now talking about the SIM cards, so the SIM card slot is on the top, so you get uh, two slots, uh, uh, one is a hybrid slot, the other one is a uh, SIM card slot, so there are two SIM card slots and a hybrid SIM card slot, so you can expand the storage in case you want. Now storage, uh, there are two variants, 128 gigs of storage and 256 gigs of storage and RAM variants, there are three or other two RAM variants, but totally there are three variants. 6 128, 8 128 and 8 256 gigabyte storage. Now the storage uh, is UFS uh, 2.2 support and RAM is LPDDR4X. Now next let's talk about the software. So we get uh, uh, the Fun Touch OS version 11 on this device. So this is um, something which we have seen on uh, Vivo devices. So Fun Touch OS 11.1 global. So it's quite a good uh, UI. Uh, you can see that uh, there are lots of additional features being offered, theme support is there, then uh, you can see S capture mode, smart split screen, smart motion, then uh, 100 mode, uh, beauty mode for video calls etc. So a lot of things are included, ultra game mode is there for gamers, then uh, you get some animations uh, and dynamic effects uh, for facial recognition, charging etc. So these are some useful options included. So it's a fairly good looking UI, but uh, uh, Aiku has included uh, some blots uh, with this. Some of these are uninstallable. So you can see here Moj, uh, then uh, we have the daily hand app. So a lot of uh, uh, pre-installed apps are included on this device. Now talking about the performance, so uh, we have the anti to benchmark score installed, so uh, this is the first device with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 768G uh, uh, octa-core processor and you can see here the uh, anti to benchmark score is around 4.5 and lakh and you can see the CPU score and the GPU score, so one of the really powerful devices out there, very good uh, scores uh, for 
uh, a 700 series chip now talking about the gaming experience so we have done a detailed gaming test found this device to be quite a capable one even we played pubg mobile and asphalt uh, 9 it was a fairly good experience nothing uh, like heating issues but uh, it may not be the most powerful device out there in terms of uh, gaming experience but uh, nevertheless uh, it does provide a good experience overall so that is the gaming test now led notification so this device does not come with any led notification so we are tried with charging uh, so there is no led notification included on the ico z3 now next let's talk about the fingerprint scanner so fingerprint scanner is mounted on the side panel so all you need to do is just tap on it and it unlocks in a flash so it's extremely fast responsive and also accurate fingerprint scanner on the ico z3 and the same is the case with uh, face unlock now usb otg is supported on the ico z3 so similar to other uh, android devices so usb otg is supported on this device as well next let's talk about the sensors included so we have installed the sensors app and you can see all the basic sensors are included accelerometer magnetic sensor gyroscope light proximity gravity all the basic sensors are included so nothing is missing on this device now next uh, we'll just check the uh, widewind l1 support so you can see here security level is widewind i mean l1 so there is widewind l1 support on the ico z3 now camera 2 api so you can see here most of the qualcomm uh, snapdragon devices uh, come with uh, uh, camera 2 api support that means you can install gcam so you can see here level 3 support so all the gcams are supported on this uh, device now next let's talk about the camera so we have a, a 64 megapixel camera so the sensor is samsung's gw3 sensor you get an ultra wide angle camera then uh, uh, a macro sensor and a selfie camera now we have done a detailed camera review you can check out that video to find out how the performance has been it's a fairly good camera although we would have liked a better saturation result because it's uh, saturating a lot uh, in terms of color reproduction so saturation needs to be fixed that's one uh, major concern we had otherwise it's a fairly good camera it, again it may not be the best out there but it's a fairly uh, well equipped camera in terms of features being offered now next is the battery so this device comes with a 4400 mAh capacity battery and you get 55 watt charging supported so it takes uh, almost like 50 55 minutes to charge the device and uh, which is a fairly decent charging time and the battery performance is pretty good uh, you can easily get um, uh, one day of battery life even with heavy usage again uh, screen on time depends upon person to person we got around five and after six hours which is fairly good uh, screen on time again uh, this depends upon uh, apps you are running in our testing we got this so in your testing you might get a different uh, screen on time this is just an average value which we have mentioned here now uh, this device comes with 5g support so 5g we don't know which bands are going to come so we can't uh, confirm whether uh, this device is a future proof device so we'll have to wait and see which bands india is coming so this device uh, does come with uh, uh, 5g support so uh, in the box uh, actually it is mentioned uh, which band is supported n77 and n78 are the two bands which are supported on the iq z3 uh, only two bands are supported as of now now uh, this device comes with voice over wi-fi 4g lt uh, uh, then uh, uh, volt support and uh, there is also carrier aggregation supported on this device now colors supported also there are two colors uh, one is the blue color which we have right now and there is also black color and it comes with three variants uh, 6 128 8 128 and uh, 8 256 so the base variant is priced 99.90 then uh, we have a 29.90 variant 8 128 and 8 256 is priced 22.990 so those are the three variants available and uh, uh, this is available on amazon so you can go ahead and buy this uh, we'll share the link in the description of this video now we'll also talk about the sound quality of this device. So as you could see the uh, speaker output is pretty loud enough but the uh, output quality isn't that impressive it is not the very uh, I mean sound quality was not very impressive but uh, the output the volume is definitely uh, on the higher side so that's the sound output of the iq z3 now this is a single speaker there's no dual speakers here so it's a single speaker on this device so that is the detail faq of the iq z3 hope uh, we have uh, answered all your questions on the iq z3 if you still have anything do uh, comment in the comment section with your question we'll try to answer uh, your doubts on the iq z3 
so that's it for this video uh, do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day